everybody, welcome back to the collector's set, and I have a new addition from the Jurassic World line, and that would be Velociraptor Blue. Or, I did, but uh, as you can tell by the packaging, uh, she, well, she got out. Uh, maybe if it was electrified or something like that, it would be a little bit more effective, and, uh, oh, there she is. Not much to really say. I mean, this is all that's on the back. It's in three different languages. Uh, this is one of the few uh, um, Jurassic World products I've been seeing for the toy line that is actually in a uh, blister card. And uh, it's actually pretty nice. All I have to do is just pop it. There's no twist ties or nothing like that. Just a little push on the other side and she fell right out. Moving on to Blue herself. This is a fantastic little toy. I, I can't believe. I, oh my god. Just remembering the Velociraptors I had as a kid, um, I, I might be uh, blasphemy or something like that, but uh, I would have picked this over the ones from Kenner, if only because I wasn't really into the gimmicks so much as I was accuracy. Now, don't get me wrong, some of them were actually kind of accurate, but it was rare. Most of them had some sort of a gimmick that they were trying to, to gear up with. And blue here, um, there's not much to really say about it. This was uh, refunded for about $7 at Walmart. I got it for 6 if they reduced it for some reason. Um, she only has about 5 points of articulation. Both hind legs move with the, the joint here. Both forearms move here, and her uh, jaw opens. Not very wide, but it's, you know, very serviceable. Paint's very basic, but uh, that's fine. I mean, it's enough that if a kid were to look at this, they knew right away this was supposed to be blue. Uh, the only thing I can really kind of knock is the claws are not painted. I wish they at least, you know, painted those black. You know, everything else you can do with a customizer. Though I do find it a little funny that her toe claws, if you notice, are actually very glossy. Why don't they gloss those but not paint them? You see, she scales very nicely with uh, 1 18th scale figures, basically the tiny G.I. Joe scales, which is what most of the Jurassic World human characters are scaled at as it is. So, they're going to be just fine. Um, I noticed that the uh, Battle Damage version from Walmart is a little bit bigger, so is the little hopping version. Uh, I think this is probably more accurate if you're going for accuracy for like dioramas. That it works the other way. The uh, one thing I can tell you about those is those of these have a neck articulation, this does not. That was my review of the Attack Pack Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Blue figure. Uh, this is great for collectors and for kids alike. Uh, it really is awesome. And uh, get used to seeing her as she is now because uh, pretty soon she's going to be, well, I'm going to paint her as a custom design. And uh, I will give you guys an update when I do that. Meanwhile, guys, that's a wrap. Tor.